Basil's going to be doing. But of course, don't forget, every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, Basil has an outstanding program. Also a great newsletter. He has the opening call. You can get that by coming over to our website at TFNN. You go right under newsletters. You can get the opening call. Uh, and as you come over there, you are going to see right under featured content, folks. Okay, I'm in Mr. Basil Chapman. He's going to be doing an all-day, two-part webinar. This is going to be on April 15th. Uh, the first part's going to go from 9 a.m. to noon. The second's going to go from noon till 4. And then they're going to, from 4 to 4.30, do a review of everything they were doing intraday. So quite a workshop over here. Come on over. Check it out right on the front page. Uh, Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing there? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. So let's talk about this workshop. What are we going to be talking about here, Basil? So first of all, uh, in this particular time frame, intraday, we are starting to see moves, or we have had, certainly for the last three, four, five weeks, intraday moves that we used to wait weeks to see. Oh, that's for so, sure. So the comp, the comp, comp, the the comprehension of seeing this consolidation of almost every hour there's a different there's a different trend allows us and it's a perfect time then to show the Chapman wave methodology because I always say the Chapman wave is the waveform that never sleeps because every peak gets alphabetized on the way up and every peak on the, the trough on the downside. I only look at three patterns so it makes it very simple to to at least in one's mind formulate some kind of a structure. So it's either, in this case, straight down or straight up. That's a, sing that's a straight line move. Or there's, a, there's an arch or a cup. You can get a combination if this, I have it read because if the left side low gets taken out, you can keep going down. We saw that most of the day. And if the um, right side, if the left side high of the Y, reverse Y, is taken out on the upside, all of a sudden, you're looking at higher prices. That's what we've seen over the last, uh, oh, I'd say about an hour. And I'm going to show, and all I'm looking for is from the lowest identifiable low bar to get a buy signal that upgrades to a buy mode. And that implies that it could go to at least four higher peaks. That's A, B, C, D. On that peak D, other things can happen. It, it can go to E, F, and G. So very simple, three um, trading uh, patterns that we look for. And then looking for higher highs that we alphabetize and lower lows. So I keep it as simple as possible. So just intraday, this is exactly what we were talking about when I did my show during the noontime, one, half to one o'clock Eastern time in the Tiger Technician's Hour. We we're always looking for that fourth highest peak. And I had shown that we had got that fourth highest peak just before 10 o'clock peak D. There it is in the two-minute chart. And then you relate it to the 10-minute um, chart and the 10-minute chart had that peak E. So we made that peak D in the day, in the 10 minutes at 8 o'clock, pulls back, runs up again. In a shorter time frame, we get that D, turns around, happens to be E. So this, I'm going to show how you can use one time frame to help you um, stay in a position through the next time frame. So the two allowed us to start to look at the downside right here because the 10 minutes confirmed that it was going down. I'm going to teach these technical tools because the MACD, the way the MACD started coming down. Look at the stochastic. It never confirmed that second high. This is the, the, the green and red lines. The unbalanced volume gave a beautiful turn down. So these are very simple technical tools that people can add if they don't have them already. They all have them on their platforms. They'll just add them onto the platform and slowly I'll show them how to use them. And then once we got that sell signal, look, there were indications that this could continue down and it continued all the way down until it crossed over. Look at the MACD it crossed over right there at uh, 240. That's 23. And the uh, unbalanced volume started to turn up. There's the stochastic turned up. And here you are having a little bit of a bounce. So these are, as I'm showing you, you can see everything's there. It's not like I'm making anything up. You just, we're gonna, I'm going to show people how to follow the rules. And what's really beautiful about this, look, here it applies the same thing. The little move that we've had up now in the, uh, in the 10 minute chart, just from 20 to 3, this is like the Dow that went up from the 23rd of um, March, had a, had a run up. But when you look at the big picture, there's still the pattern that I was talking about, that lowercase h. So everything is, it's like a, a fragment or a fractal, which replicates in doesn't matter what time frame, 
it's the same thing. Look, in the Dow, if I show you the chart of the Dow itself, remember we spoke about the peak Ds, how important they are? Yes. Look, the, week, the weekly chart gave a peak D top, 29,568, the week of the 14th of February, happens to coincide with what? A peak D in the monthly chart. At P so these things are relative to every time frame. It doesn't matter what tradable it is. It could be Amazon. It could be uh, the Dow. It could be uh, the E-minis. And that's what we're going to do. So people will come in. I'll be sending them a little package to show them basic rules of the Chapman Wave methodology. We, we get started at 9 o'clock. We start preparing for the, for the day at 9.30. We go through until 12. I'll, I'll show each pattern, and we'll go through every chart. If the people want to select something that maybe they trade every day, it doesn't have to be short-term trading. It doesn't, whatever it is, we'll, we'll look at it live. And we'll talk about it and discuss it. Where do you enter? Where do you add to it? Where do you get out? Is this a time to either short or, or just get out of it? People don't. Some people don't like to short. But we do have vehicles, fantastic vehicles these days, where you can go short by buying something long, like the dog, which is one to one short the the Dow. Um, it makes it much easier. So. It's applicable to almost anything. I'm really looking forward to it because this is absolutely a perfect time for it. Because look at this. We had intraday. There's no doubt, man. <laughs> we had a move on the up on the upside, a huge move on the downside. And if people were using good techniques, let me show you right here. You were able to trade the upside all the way from 2450 to the most recent of 2480. That's 30 points in the E-mini. So I like that. And you can see right here, try a double top. There's that. The, the cup formation at the top, it's pulling back, and now it's going to test this little doji candle right here oh, yeah. with a low of 24.63. The battle's so, on right now between those bulls is. and bears coming into Friday is, yeah. night. <laughs> Where are we going to go Friday night over the weekend, folks? That's why this is a big one here. There's, there's no doubt. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, we the market recovered itself last night. Well, when I say recovered itself, go Yesterday, back. I remember you talking. You, you said know, it should rally to the close. You know, so this is going to be a big one. And, and as Basil and I are talking, so this bar here that he was just showing that was going into that doji, the bottom line is that you still, so we have, let's see, on this 10 minute, so the second bar that right before okay. when Basil came on, the second bar had the volume behind the move also, folks. And then this bar here, I believe is. At, at 320, has a big ball. It's going to be shot. Let's see, 16, yeah, 16,000. Still good, 16,000 versus 37. We got, uh, you got four more minutes in this bar, but that's still a good indication that uh, this battle's going to come on here. So. so there are a lot of other techniques that I'll be teaching as well. For instance, I have a, a technique I call the Chapman Wave Trin Gauge, which gave a, a very low reading today. And that says to me that the Dow should have a weak opening on Monday. So we'll see what happens. These are all techniques that I'll be teaching uh, come Wednesday, the 15th of April. Oh, my God. And they get my newsletter. That, that's right. That's a beautiful thing. And the way to do it, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You're going to see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Just hit that button, and you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great weekend, safe weekend. Of course, we look forward to the show on Monday. Thank you, Tom. Have a great weekend. Thank you. If you're Stay not right there, currently folks. using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500.